Hey y'all, this is BG Codes and I am Brad Garropy. In the previous video, I showed you how to update a document in a Firestore collection. And in this video, I'll show you how to delete some documents from a collection in a few different ways. Now I do start from some starter code and it's hosted on GitHub. So I'll put that as the first link in the description below. Let's get started. Here's our current application. We have buttons to create, read, and update users. So let's go ahead and finish out the CRUD and add a delete button. We'll head over to our React application and let's go ahead and create a button called delete. And because we're gonna do delete in a few different ways, we'll make two different buttons. So one way to delete is by ID. So we'll call it delete user by ID. And this is probably the safest and smartest way because it uniquely identifies the document in your collection. But another way to do it is maybe delete user by name. That's totally valid, but maybe a little bit riskier because what if your collection had two users, two different users with the same name, you might unintentionally delete the wrong user. But nonetheless, I'll show you how to do both. Uh, each of these are going to have an on click method, which will be an arrow function that will call in this case, uh, delete user by ID, which we'll pass it an ID. And the second one, we'll give it an on click handler. That's an arrow function. Uh, and we'll run delete user by name, the more risky version. Each one of these will have to take an input. So let's head over to our Firestore. And this is what we got right now. So uh, let's, let's delete Bradley Garropy by name. And actually we'll make it Brad Garropy because when we automatically create, uh, that's what I create it by. And this is the ID. So there, now we've got two buttons. We'll import these methods. They don't exist yet, but we'll handle that here shortly. So now we've imported delete user by ID and delete user by name from our users file. This holds all the methods for doing CRUD operations on our users collection. So let's start off with delete user by ID. This will be an arrow function called delete user by ID which takes in an ID as an argument. And it is asynchronous because it does have to call out and make a network call. Okay. We'll start off the same as all the others. Uh, we will await firestore.collection users. We will find a specific document by ID and then delete it. Now, this one, just like the update, uh, returns void. It doesn't return anything. And I, I've always been a little bit torn as to what to return from a, a delete function. But in this case, if it succeeds, let's just log the ID that was deleted and return that. Uh, it's totally up to you how you want to implement this. But in this case, this is what I do. I just return the ID of the thing that was deleted. So let's test this out. Delete user by ID. Oh, and we forgot to export it. So delete user by ID is exported now. I have a weird build error, so let's restart that. Cool, that looks better. We'll refresh. Uh, delete user by name. Oh, correct, because I haven't, uh, I haven't defined delete user by name. So let's do that. We'll just stub it out. and export it here. Cool, so we're all set when we implement that. All right, now let's go test delete user by ID. So in this case, I provided it with this ID. We should see this user gone after we click that button. And it did, it echoed out that ID. And if we check Firestore, that user is gone. So let's create user real quick. So it created Brad Garropy. It's here. And now let's go delete this user by name. So we'll do this function. 
uh, as an argument, it's going to take name, a string. So we'll do mostly the same thing. We're essentially going to have to, to locate that user the same way we did for read. So this will be a Firestore collection users. We will limit it to one, and then we'll have to do that search with the where function, which takes three arguments. One is the field that you're searching on, name. Second is the logical operator. In this case, we're checking, we're searching for a user with its name equal to the name that we passed in. And then we are going to get it. And this will return us a snapshot with all the results. And because there are many results, uh, we only want to get one document, the first one that matched. So we will get snapshot.docs, all the documents in the snapshot for that query and assign it to document. Now we have the user that we're looking to delete. So now we can say doc.ref dot delete you have a reference to that document uh, and you can go ahead and call operations on it from there and again this returns void so what we're going to have to do is just log out the document.id that we created and return that document.id So just to break this down again, we actually have to perform a search, a query on the collection in order to find the user that we want to delete. Once we have that user, once we have that document, we can use its reference and call the delete method on it. Okay. And let's go back here. So our application now has a delete user by name. It's looking for somebody with the name Brad Garropy. That's me. We do have an entry here in Firestore. So let's click that button. It spits out the ID, which that was the ID. And now it's gone. So that was how you delete a user from Firestore, or rather delete a document from a Firestore collection. Thanks for sticking with me through Create, Read, Update, and Delete in Firestore. Stay tuned for more web dev tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.